I feel so lucky to be here. I thought my comedy career was over, to tell you the truth, because uh, I emailed the booker of a comedy club recently, and I said, thanks so much for having me. I had a great time. I'd love to come back and do the show again in the future. But in my biggest autocorrect mishap, I did not say in. I said, I'd love to do the show again. I'm the future. <laughs> Pretty bold statement, right? <laughs> I don't even think Kanye West has said that. <laughs> so I thought about emailing him back, you know, being like, in the future, and then I realized the future would never second guess himself like that. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking, this guy is pretty funny for a Civil War reenactor. <laughs> Truth be told, I actually am a direct descendant of Ulysses S. Grant, so I feel like I've earned the right to look like a douchebag. <laughs> He's my great, great, great grandfather, three greats, and uh, that's a tremendous shadow to live under, right? He was a decorated general who defeated the South, won the Civil War, while I once spent an entire game of laser tag shooting the wrong team. <laughs> And of course, we all know he went on to become president of the United States, face of the $50 bill, and I have to see his disapproving look every time I buy drugs. <laughs> I have two adopted siblings. I have a sister who's 14 years older than me. She's half Indian, and I have a brother who's 18 years older than me. He's half Japanese. So all of our photos together it just looks like I'm sitting with a team of doctors <laughs> as they desperately try to find me a cure. <laughs> but since they're so much older than me, I never got to break the news to them that they were adopted, which that defeats the whole purpose of having adopted siblings. <laughs> right, like one time we got in a fight, I was like, guess what, you're adopted. They were like, guess what? Mom wanted us. <laughs> Even my mom as I point goes the foreigners. <laughs> my grandfather died when I was eight years old and my parents made a huge mistake by telling me the truth, which was that he died in his sleep. So for the next year, I was awake. <laughs> Wide awake, they'd be like, Doug, it's bedtime. What's that, dead time? No thanks. <laughs> sleep when I'm dead, I'm dead if I sleep. Just gonna stay up, make a pot of coffee, cue up the exorcist. You guys knock yourselves out, though. <laughs> They'd be like, all right, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I think they should have lied to me, right? I feel like I would have been a great kid if they had just lied to me. Like, if I was in their shoes, I would have handled things a little differently. Like, if my kid was like, how'd Grandpa die? I would have been like, well, he was uh, jumping on the bed <laughs> after lying about brushing his teeth. <laughs> and refusing to put his jammies on <laughs> when he fell and broke his neck on a G.I. Joe he left lying around. <laughs> Doctors say he would have survived if only he'd taken one more bite of broccoli. <laughs> In honor of Father's Day, I feel like I should tell you a fun fact about my dad. My dad has one eye. He lost his left eye in a barbecuing accident. That is the cor correct response. Uh, those Labor Day cookouts are dangerous, right? He was uh, flipping burgers with a two-pronged barbecue fork, and he caught it on the grill, sprang up, popped him in the eye, lost the eye. And I remember this happened before I was born. When I finally was able to wrap my head around what happened, I asked him, I was like, Dad, how'd you do that? Were you drinking? He was like, nope, sober as a judge. I was like, you should probably tell people you're drinking. You're just a bit of a Butterfingers. At least if he was drinking, he'd have the best story at the AA meeting, right? Just walk in there and be like, well, I think I finally hit rock bottom. He could never get away with saying typical dad stuff, you know, like, hey, knock it off, I got eyes in the back of my head. It's like, really? Uh, maybe you should let the front of your head borrow one, huh? <laughs> I 
It's just so sad because it all could have been avoided if he had just used a spatula. But as he likes to say, hindsight's 20. 